So there we go. Now it's in the shop. And we can, if we want, we can restore this or we can just sell it. Um, we're going to make back a little bit of money, but it's always better to restore it. Even if you don't buy any parts or anything, just obviously just even just rust removing and sanding, like the, the cost, the price of it's going to go up. So you might as well and uh, make some money off of it. This was the basic way I made money at the start of the game before I found all of the vehicles. And then when, when I started getting together what I thought were good museum vehicles, um, you know, that's when I started putting that together. So yeah, but there you go. Right, let's start working on the Greyhound now. It should be pretty simple. What's the most broken tank in War Thunder? Uh, KV-1B. So the MA Greyhound is very similar to the M20. Main difference is the turret and the 37mm that it has housed. Looks like whatever this Greyhound fought put a big hole in the side of it. And even though we have the uh, wheels, the wheels can only be replaced. Which sucks. I don't think I've ever had a set of wheels that can't be replaced. Or are, are in a position where you can replace them. So what I'm going to do quickly is just going to remove the wheels while we're here. I can actually put the mud guard back on. No, I can't. All right. Like the first thing, the first thing that's good to do is to get all the bits that have to be replaced off. Um, and it just means that it will save you time going forward because you can set them to um, get cleaned and stuff while you're doing other things. So it looks like, a th oh no, the canister. Right. So we go here. No, we don't. Do we go to my storage? Yeah. So you can see a bunch of stuff is just screwed here. So we outsource repairs, got that all fixed up. While that's going on, we should probably fix the big old hole in this. So once again, we'll get the welder. Patch it up. And normally if there's a hole on this side, there's a hole on the other. Ta-da. There we go. So that's first part done. Let's get some more of this rust off. Let's make it a little bit easier to work with. We also have to have a look at the engine. I feel like the engine is going to be in a lot better condition this time because this vehicle is a lot more whole than the other one. <laughs> the other one was in a really bad state. Uh, no. Nope. Right, modules. Oh yeah, so just like with the engine, you can also move remove the turret so it's easier to work with. So you can like go inside of it and do it. Normally what I would do first is I would actually do the turret just because it's just easier to sort out because it's uh, far away from everything. There we go. Then you can go on top of it as well with this ladder. Oop. Uh, that needs sanding, but it also looks like it's destroyed. There we go, much better. The heck does rubber rust? Hey, I don't you know, I don't know. You know. And the good thing about doing the sanding is because it looks so different to when you rust, it's really easy to see if you've missed anything. All right, let's just get the paint can now. And the primer especially as well. Like if you if you see something that's been primed but it's obviously still rusty that just means you missed it uh, unfortunately uh, there we go also tells us like as we go around right so turret, turret interior condition to exterior condition so we can tell if something's like in a good place or not um, uh, this turret is missing some stuff uh, unfortunately 
but the interior is at 100%. So that should mean turret interior, yeah, see, 100%, turret exterior, 66. We're missing all the stuff for the MG. Oh, but I haven't bought them yet, so. All right, let's just quickly um, buy all the missing parts we need. It's going to cost us 17,000, but that should be fine. If we decide to sell this machine, which I'm not going to, but we should make the money back. These fully done machines are, in, like, you get a lot of money for them. But that is effectively the turret done. Um, all we have to do is add the machine guns to it, which we'll do at a later stage. So that's finished. Now let's have a look at this engine. So it's got a ton of rust on it, but it's in a much better position <laughs> than the uh, the other one. But sometimes that's kind of harder to deal with, because when you build it from the ground up, you actually have access to all of the, the little parts in between. Like you see the, uh, the valves here and stuff like that, it's just easier to deal with. Um, let's get the oil pan in. I don't want to do the valve cover yet. If we're already putting the engine head on, then that means all the stuff inside is good. So we don't have to worry about that. Engine's at 85, so it's pretty nice. Let's get the valve covers on. It's at 88, so we need to see the spark plugs. Looks like none of them survived. Not a surprise at all. Spark plugs are a bitch. And the wire, and there we go. Our engine's ready. This is the same engine as the M20, so, you know, we should be used to it by now. Right, so back to the, um, the main machine, the main body. We've got to be able to get everything unrusted, especially the bottom stuff. You know, it's, it's disgusting down here. It's in a bad, very much a bad way. Uh, there we go. The gearbox is not good. Neither are the wheels. Once again, we give it a blow of the sander so we can actually see what's good, what's bad, what's struggling. And doing this stuff from underneath just makes it so it's a little bit easier. Because normally the stuff you're going to miss is the stuff which is underneath. Because it's not as exposed. Right, let's sand this bit. There's also a bunch of stuff that is underneath that um, you don't need to paint. So that also makes it a bit easier. All right. Back axle done. Just get the look on there. This is still rusty. It's already looking, you know, a thousand times better compared to what it was. There we go. Gonna need my stairs because unfortunately my lad is a bit of a short ass. So where are they at? Oh, there they are. Nice. Oh, heck! Oh, okay. This thing is... F okay, this thing's full of ammunition. This is a problem. I had the panther like that. I was like, whoa, <laughs> okay. This thing has like... Oh, all right, well, we'll just leave that there. You know. I wouldn't... They must have added that in since I last played it, because I don't remember that. Right, this needs rust removal. There we go. So just by doing this, um, and getting all the rust out and everything like that, we're already at a whole exterior condition of 41%. There we go. Better call the OD, true. <laughs> uh, and it's looking quite swanky but it could look swankier. 
So let's get the primer on. Get everything that needs to be primed from the base um, up. One thing this game teaches me is how simplistic Russian vehicles are compared to... I uh, know, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, Russian vehicles are so simple um, compared to... Uh, well, compared to Germany, it's a completely different world. But even... Yeah, the Germans are horrible. Yeah, even compared to American vehicles, like, the, the Soviet stuff is so easy to deal with in the game. Like, if you're looking to make money and you're, like, shifting stuff like uh, KV-1s, like, it, it's so easy to put together. Same with T-34s. Right. Okay. Now, the whole exterior is never going to be 100% because of the fact that the turret is missing, so... It's also missing a bunch of the sight stuff as well. So far, so good. Let's get a little paint on here. Lovely stuff. I feel like Bob Ross. Uh, there you go. Now... It is kind of annoying that the engine covers are on, so I might actually just disassemble them real quick. Because there's no way that uh, what's underneath is fine. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay, we definitely need to do something about this. Everything. Replaceable? Own. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, oh dear. We've got a lot of problems in the base of this engine. Battery box is dead. The V-belts are done. Nope, leave the exhaust. The fan belt's done as well. That needs to be replaced. God damn. Right. But everything else looks pretty good. Fuel tank's nice. Motor shield's good. Oh, this needs sanding. There we go. Lovely. Hey, Maxi Muscle. How you doing, man? You have a question about War Thunder? Fire away. If I can't answer it, I'm somebody, sure somebody else can. Alright, we'll paint our seats too. Why is this thing not painted? Good old gearbox. No, there we go. So it's already looking awesome. It really is. And we'll just fix those other pieces. There we go. Did I pay for this game? Uh, yes, I bought it. I just really enjoy it. He's only cheap um, sometimes, people. <laughs> I didn't buy a play mechanic simulator. I was uh, given it, actually, by the guys who make it. Um, but the tank mechanic simulator, no, I bought this. And uh, I did buy it on offer. Um, but I do think this is definitely worth it, even full price. Especially with the stuff they're adding to the game. Right, let's sort the locker door out. Oh dear. Um, how do you lift the metal wheels of the EBR? Um, you can't in War Thunder right now, unfortunately. Right, that's looking good. Oh, the dashboard. Replace only. Oh no. Another piece that has to be replaced. You're acting like you're fucking poor, bud. I know, but still, it's just a pain. Oh, stop being a baby. <laughs> right, let's get the hook on the back. Let's get all the V-belts in again. 
So let's just do them real quick. And we need the battery. There we go. Well, how much uh, how much money do you have in yours? Or have you just started? What? How much money do you have in yours? Or have you just started? Uh, two hundred eighty-four thousand. Yeah, it's not bad. I think this is my. I'm working on my third tank. I think. Yeah. Money is super easy to get in this game. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Just go find a Soviet tank and repair it. Yeah, I'll just do like the challenges every once in a while. Also, buy your parts, fucking rusty, because you're gonna have to fix everything else. Yeah. Right, let's get the tires on the back here. No. Mud guard, go away, please. Actually, no, I'm gonna take off the tires because I have to get behind them first. I need to put the leaf springs in. There we go. Shock absorber in. This is the only issue with it when certain parts, like, they go over each other, so sometimes it's hard to yeah. see them. Oh, I need to also put in the transfer. There we go. Let's do that real quick. You know what makes the tiger so shitty? What? The fact that you have to bars. bolt everything on. Oh, yeah. Whereas the panther, that. you just put it on. You don't have to fuck with the bolts. But on the tiger, <laughs> you have to fuck with bolts. Yeah, that is a bitch. Right, there we go. Right, while we're here, we'll just do all the leaf springs. Just screw sorting out leaf springs on stuff you can't see. Get the drag link in too. Very important, that one. Don't know if the back ones are done or not. Looks like the engine's good though, at least the area. Okay. Oh, wait. Why are you red? Perfect. So we've got the shock absorbers, we've got the leaf springs in. So we've just got to put the brake drums on and the rims now, and also the wheels themselves. And this should be done. Perfect. Put the mud guards back on. There we go. The whole exterior is at 97% and the interior is at 97%. And the whole exterior is 91. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, of course, it's the sight rods. God damn it. These things are a pain to, to get to, by the way. Like, it's really hard to see them. Actually, I could just put them back in. Screw it. I'll fix it when I need to. Like, whoever designed this set, like, for these things, it's very annoying to deal with. But there we go. And the other one will be another sight rod somewhere. Yeah, I just have to get in there and fix it. Drive a slot. Sand. Primer. Paint. Done. All right, whole exterior is done. I'm just spraying paint everywhere. How about interior? 97, what do we miss? Oh, locker doors? Oh, I didn't paint them. Got them a nonce. Forgot about it. Is it just World War II or are there more errors in the game? Um, there's going to be some... Hey, I'll, I'll, once I finish this, I'll go through the vehicles they're adding in the next little bit. But I'm sure they will uh, expand it as it goes. It's a brake drum. Where is it? Oh, God. 
See, this is the bits where you like, God damn it, how did I miss this? It's so close, but yet so far. We missed something on the gearbox. Middle drive shaft. Oh, what? That looks fine to me. <laughs> it looks fine to you. It was <laughs> <laughs> the shift in the fucking gear. <laughs> Uh, all right. It's okay. I forgot controls for the gearbox on the Panther. <laughs> oh, I was like, "What I, the fuck?" Yeah, I might have missed out the uh, the front uh, drive shaft. That might have been a bit of a problem. Ah, you know, you don't need it. <laughs> right. So everything's at a hundred percent now. So the body's done, the engine's good, and the turret's good. So we just have to put everything together now. This vehicle, sorted. There we go. Still says it's at 98 though. What the hell did I miss? So even though it says everything's at 100. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to paint this brake drum too. You've got to be kidding me. Be oh. like us sometimes. Can't believe it. All right now, what else is there? You could get motorcycle mechanic. I bet that one's pretty easy. <laughs> Easier than this one. Fuck right. you, torsion bars. <laughs> All right, there we go. Primer on. Paint on. Perfect. Alright, rim, wheel, mudguard. Like how I had to send a fucking box out for repairs, but I can over here drilling on a goddamn, uh, like brake or something, you know? Like, what? <laughs> what? It's just a simple tin box I can't <laughs> work on? Uh, right. Let's like mount. Press X to doubt. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have an M19. God damn it! I'm gonna have to pick one up. Right, resupply the ammo as well. There we go. So the 50s on top. We don't have an extra 30 cal, unfortunately. But now the machine is full of ammo, and uh, ready to be painted. It looks absolutely gorgeous. We just close the. Uh, We'll just close all this stuff. There we go. Perfect. Just close all the hatches, just in case any paint gets inside. Perfect. Piss off. <laughs> all right. Let's paint this bad boy. Oh, I didn't remove the rust on the dipstick, but I can't work on a jack. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking game. All right, Greyhound looks beautiful. Where's my paint? There it is. I think we'll go for another green. Problem is it paints the wheels too. That's a little bit bright, isn't it? Let's just turn it down a bit. There we go. Uh, we could put German markings on it. I think that'll be a good idea. Uh, scale. Nope. J. Nice. And just put a two there too. Then we need to do the camo. Yellow is always a bit vibrant for me personally. This is way too vibrant. Oof. It's not really a good camo for this. Maybe this one. 
Just turn down the saturation a little bit. All right, there we go. I forgot all the little tiny fuel hoses. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our MA Greyhound done. Finito. Let's, I'll show you what the testing range looks like. So the proving grounds, I should say, sorry. We already had a look at what the testing range is. Another thing is because we built this thing from scratch, so this is one I actually found in the ground. So we spent around about 20k on it for repairs, right? Which is, you know, it's pricey, you know, but uh, it's all right. Uh, if we decide to sell the vehicle, which I can't do here, I will have to do it the other side. Um, we should get way more money than that. Alright, let's get some fuel in. You should train uh, separate crews um, for your vehicles in War Thunder. Just because you're normally going to take more than one into battle. Unless you're playing air realistic, then you only need one crew. Right, everything's after, done. After 47 years of sandblasting and painting <laughs> and everything else, I can finally move to the turret of the panther. <laughs> Fuck you, torsion bars. You don't start with the turret? No. I always find that easy. I start with the road wheels, because that's the part I hate the most. Right. Alright, so driver's hatch... Just to open everything so we can actually see. There we go. Then we can drive forward. Oh, a little bit faster. Okay, what the fuck? So this is what the uh, position is like on this. If we just have a look out, there we go. So this is a testing range. Uh, it doesn't really m mean that much, but basically, you have like a uh, the thirty-seven gun, and uh, oops, oh yeah, you need to move to the gunner position. That's right. Yeah, there we go. And then toggle camera. There we go. Then you can fire. This thing, I can't use the 50 cal. Because it's on top and not with the 37. And I don't have my coaxial 30 cal in. So yeah. It's pretty cool though. You know, you can just, if you really want to, you can shoot around. I think I've glitched it right now though, unfortunately. Oh no, it's because I'm not. <gasps> Wait. I saw the 50 cal move. <gasps> you could fire the 50. 